So, iOS 26 is out, and in this video, I'm going to show you 20 things to do after you update. The first thing I noticed after updating was when I opened the phone app, it asked if I wanted to turn on screen calls. This is a feature where when someone calls you with a number not saved in your contact, your iPhone will automatically answer the call in the background, asking the caller to state their name and the reason for calling. Then the response is transcribed as text so you can read it and decide if you want to answer the call or not. It's kind of like having your own personal assistant. If you missed out that feature on the phone app, you can go to settings and go to phone apps and then scroll all the way down until you see screen unknown callers. So here there are three different ways you can use it. You can have never ask reason for calling or silence. So choose one of those settings that you want to use and you can start using screen calling. Next is the ability to turn your regular photos into spatial photos. All you need to do is open the photos app and choose the photo you want to spatialize. When you open the photo, there will be a hexagon spatial scene icon on the top right side. Go ahead and tap on it and your iPhone will start to combine the regular image with depth data to create a photo that feels 3D and lifelike. So as of now, there's no way to save the spatial photo, but when you have the spatial photo turned on, you can just swipe to your other photos and it is also going to spatialize them as well. The next thing we're going to do is use our photos as a lock screen and then turn that into a spatialized lock screen wallpaper. So to do this, choose the picture that you want to make your lock screen. And once you're in this screen, you can adjust the clock font, add some widgets, do all of that. Uh, you know, you can adjust the clock to give it more of a 3D look. And uh, same as before, you'll see a uh, hexagon icon on the bottom right side this time and just go ahead and tap on it and it will spatialize your photo and definitely bring some life to the lock screen next we're going to create some new emojis using mixmoji so to do this go ahead and open up your messages app and click on genmoji so once you're here we can select up to two emojis to choose to create our own unique emoji. So I'm just gonna go ahead and choose this laughing face and this heart and see what happens. Yeah, it looks pretty good. You know, that looks like a OG emoji. So once you have created your new mix emoji, it will be saved in your keyboards, which you can find right next to the recent tabs. While we're in the messages app, let's go ahead and customize it a little bit. So go to your contacts, just tap on it, and you will see a new tab that says backgrounds. And here, you can change the background for your messages. So you can either choose your photos or use the pre-made backgrounds with a very nice dynamic effect. They're like almost like live wallpapers. Basically is a oh, live wallpaper. Next, we're going to customize the home screen icon. So to do this, just hold an empty space in the home screen, then hit the edit button on the top to the left side and hit customize. And here you can choose between one, two, three, four different ways to customize your icons so there's the default dark clear and tinted and tinted you can even change the colors of the icons to your liking so it looks like there's some bugs still present here you can see the widget uh, nothing is showing up here but it works but yeah it seems to be a little buggy but for the winterboard people out there you probably know about glass card but anyways nice transparent icons here this next feature is going to work with Apple Music and first step is to go ahead and open up settings, scroll down to apps and go ahead and find music. So here you're going to scroll down and find the section that says song transitions. So you'll probably know about Crossfade if you use Apple Music, you know, it has the regular Crossfade, but there's a new feature called Auto Mix. And what this does is it uses AI to create seamless DJ-like transitions between songs, blending their intros and outros with beat matching and time stretching to eliminate silence. Now we're going to go ahead and open up the clock app and click on one of your alarms and there's a new tab called snooze duration. So you can adjust your snooze duration from one minute all the way to 15 minutes now. Next, we're going to open up settings, scroll down to general, and then open this up and scroll down to keyboard. So here, what we're going to do is turn on character preview or turn it off if you don't want to use that feature. Now what this does is have that little pop-up show up on your keyboard, lock on your old iOS devices, or you can turn it off so you don't see that pop-up. Next is to make use of the new preview app. This makes working with PDFs and images easier with built-in tools to create, edit, annotate, markup, sign, you know, and export PDF documents. 
Next, we're going to search up Safari in settings. And here we're going to scroll down and find the place that says tabs. And here we have three different tab options, compact, bottom or top. So choose whichever one fits your style. At the moment, I'm using the compact tabs. It's been working pretty well so far. So I just leave it at that. Next, we're going to search up phone in the settings and scroll down until you see tab recent to call. So by default, it's turned off. And what this allows is for you to non mistakenly call someone from your recent call log. But when you turn it on, it's going to work like how it worked on iOS 18. So you don't need to specifically press on that phone button on the right. Next feature is for anyone that uses the always on display. And now you can finally blur the background in your always on display. So all you need to do is search up always on display, go to this setting right here, and you have blur wallpaper photo. Just turn it on and now your background is blurred. Next, we're going to search up camera and settings and open this up, scroll down until you find indicators. So here we're going to turn off the indicators to have a cleaner UI in the camera app. So you can choose whichever indicator that you would like to turn off and you will have a cleaner UI because on the camera app, you can already have all the indicators quickly pop up from the bottom right side. So it really isn't necessary to be showing on the top right side. Next, we're going to open up the photos app and click on the three dots on the top right and reorder the collections to your liking. So to do this, you can click on the three lines on the right side and adjust them to your liking. Next, we're going to go to battery and scroll down to find power mode. Here, you can turn on adaptive power mode. Think of it like a more sophisticated low power mode where your iPhone can extend your battery life by making performance adjustments such as lowering display brightness, allowing some activities to take longer or even turning on low power mode at 20%. Now this next feature is already available on iOS 18, but I'm going to show you how to use it in iOS 26. So we're going to bring down the control center and add a new control. Here you're going to scroll down to hearing accessibility and tap on the little ear icon. And now you can turn on background sounds. So what's cool about this is that you can use these background sounds while even listening to music. When you're doing anything, you can still have the background sound on. So it's pretty cool if you want to have these sounds on. Next, we're going to search up reduce transparency in settings. And like the name suggests, it's going to reduce the transparency in certain areas of the operating system. So it is more legible. This next feature is also for Apple Music. So search up music in settings and scroll down until you find animated art. It's already turned on. So what this does is it will display animated cover art for your music. And the last feature that I want to show you is in the podcast app. And when you go to change your tempo, now there's a new tab called enhanced dialogue. And like its name suggests, it's going to reduce background noise and improve clarity of spoken voices, making the audio more accessible for listeners.